Well, Thanksgiving may be more than a week away, but the holiday travel crush hmm. rush, I should say, begins this Friday. And crush. And crush, sure. Millions of Americans are expecting to return to the skies, and even more will hit the roads. Travel expert Peter Greenberg back with us now to talk more about what people can expect. Peter, I, it's been a rough couple of weeks between Southwest and American uh, having staffing issues. Do we know whether Thanksgiving travelers can expect similar bumps? It could happen again, although the airlines are doing what they can to reduce flights from their schedule. In fact, actually physically remove them because they'd overscheduled their airlines and they didn't have enough staff to support them by adding dozens of new routes. And that got them in trouble when you had a, a glitch in the system. The real problem right now is not the airlines reducing flights. It's the sheer number of people who will be traveling, not just for Thanksgiving, but they're even traveling now thanks to what? November 8th, just about a week and a half ago, when we opened the doors for foreign travelers who are fully vaccinated right. to come to the U.S. And they are flooding in. Hmm. And they're not just flying to the U.S., they're flying through it. So planes are going to be even more full, not just for that four-day Thanksgiving holiday, but between now and the end of the year. Okay, so paint for us a picture of what people can expect if they are headed to the airport on Friday in terms of wait times at security checkpoints. What are you thinking, you know, at O'Hare and maybe perhaps New York, the airport's there. Do you have any predictions? Well, some of the smart travelers have already started to travel because when we're working and living and learning remotely, we can do that. We can call it in a little bit more. Mm -hmm. We're not just stuck on that Wednesday before Thanksgiving doing a remake of planes, trains, and automobiles. Mm -hmm. so, that helps. so the smart travelers are starting early, uh, even in their cars. 53 million Americans will be traveling over the holiday period, most of them by car. But the planes are going to be full. The airport lines are going to be long. The TSA is still understaffed. Be aware of that. They're not going to be back to full complement of staff until maybe the middle of next year. So it's going to be a rough period between now and March at a time, by the way, when historically it's usually not too bad until that Thanksgiving holiday. Yeah, it's interesting. I was reading from uh, Chicago based United. They said uh, Sunday after Thanksgiving travel is going to be their busiest travel day since before the pandemic. Does, th does this mean air travel is back? Well, remember, we're about only 6% under where we were in 2019, hmm. and that's going to be even increased by the number of foreign travelers. So we're sort of back. International travel is not yet, at least going from the United States. Business travel is not. But the leisure travel market is driving this. People have been waiting for 18 months to get back, and they're back. You know, one of the things that most of us talked about during the pandemic when it came to scheduling a, a flight is that there were some pretty great deals out there uh, because of the pandemic. Not a lot of people heading out. Are those expected to continue? Have you seen many of those remain at all? No, those deals, at least within the United States, are gone. Airfares have been rising 3 to 5% per day. That's over a month going on now. It'll continue. I'm talking to you tonight from the middle of the Canary Islands in the Atlantic <laughs> Ocean, and I want you to know that the airfares to Europe right now are at historic lows. Huh. Okay. Uh, airfares to Ireland are as low as $359 round trip. To Paris, $398. You can't get to Cleveland for $398. Yeah. So you know what? Be a contrarian traveler. You can freeze the turkey and have it later. If you come overseas now, it's it's a buyer's market. And I may not last for long, but at least that's the case now. A contrarian traveler. I like that term. Uh, Peter Greenberg joining us live from the Canary Islands. I think a couple weeks ago you were in Turkey when you joined us. Man, you have a lot of miles. I do. Good luck with beaming him. <laughs> That's always a problem. <laughs> Peter Greenberg, thank you so much. And you can get more of his tips and travel information on his website, petergreenberg.com.